Hi Kickstarter. I'm John and I want to build a 3D printer. I'm not great at making a video, but let me just tell you who I am. I'm a mechanic by nature. I want to work on things. I work with my hands. Today I just bloodied my finger taking out my cup holder out of my truck because it broke. Um, it, it's just something that's built into me and I'm sure most of you can identify with that. There's something in your life that you've done since you're a kid and building and taking things apart is what I've always done. It's my job now. I get to work on jet engines for the for money. It's it's like a childhood dream really. And uh my project is about 3D printing and it's going to bring 3D printing into your home eventually. And if this project gets funded, I'm going to be able to make my own 3D printer and start helping other people make their own 3D printer. The thing about this printer is that it makes the parts you can use to build another printer just like it. And it evolves with time and the project gets better and better. It's going to allow people to have home manufacturing available to them. And that could change a lot of things. For instance, inventors, if they need a prototype made, they have it. If an artist wants to print out a figurine, that they designed, they got it. So that's why I want to build a 3D printer and that's why I need your help. I'm going to pass on the video to the reprap.org intro video so you get a better understanding because I'm just not good at this. I work with my hands, not my face, as you can tell. Thanks. We print documents and photos from our computers daily. Most of us in the developed world effectively run a home printing press and a home photographic lab courtesy of this technology. Suppose you could plug a 3D printer into your computer. This 3D printer makes solid, strong, plastic goods from designs that you've created yourself or that you have downloaded from the web. You could make lots of useful stuff that, at the moment, you have to buy. In effect, you would be running your own factory alongside your printing press and your photographic lab. There's nothing new about 3D printers. They have been around for almost 30 years, but all the commercial ones are very expensive. They typically cost about 20,000 euros. This is the RepRap 3D printer working. You can make it yourself, and doing that will only cost you around 500 euros. What's more, following the principles of the free software movement, the designs for the RepRap machine are being distributed to everyone free under the GNU General Public License. And here is the really clever bit. Those designs include all the plastic parts for the RepRap machine itself. So, if you have a RepRap machine, you can print a new one for a friend. RepRap was thought up by Adrian Boya at Bath University. I started the RepRap printer by a biomimetic analogy. That is to say, an analogy taking an idea in nature and putting it into engineering. The RepRap printer works by melting plastic and then building it up into three-dimensional objects which solidify when they cool. It starts with a filament of plastic, about three millimeters in diameter, rather like a piece of wire. And that filament is fed into a melting head in the machine and then extruded out of a very fine hole. The machine then scribbles with that molten plastic onto a flat plate to make a layer of the object that's to be built. The plate then drops down by a small fraction of a millimeter and the next layer is scribbled on top of that and so on and so on until the whole component has been built in three dimensions. In May 2008, RepRap achieved replication for the first time. This parent machine made a complete set of parts that were then used to build this child machine. The child machine was immediately put to work making grandchild parts. The team are now working on version 2 of the RepRap machine. Version 2 will, of course, be printed by version 1, as well as being able to print itself. Version 2 will allow a wider range of materials to be printed, including electrical conductors so that the machine can make its own circuit boards and other electrical products. Chris DeBona, open source programs manager at Google, said, think of RepRap as a china on your desktop. And Sir James Dyson, inventor of the Cyclone Bagless vacuum cleaner, said about RepRap, advanced fabrication technology that can copy itself is a truly remarkable concept with far-reaching implications. So there it is, Kickstarter. That's the video from reprap.org. I did have to cut it down just a little bit to make it a little shorter to get 
most of the information across. The full link is down below in the listing. Please research this project, and if you feel like this project's for you, which I hope it is, please donate. Please back me up. You're guaranteed to get something great, something I print out myself just for you, and you get to pick it, so that's a great deal. So thanks, and please donate.